Okay, let's do this live. Uh, so I have uh, my uh, just information array of A here. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So my N here is ten. And then I'm going to make ten bucket uh, of B. So uh, Again, from 0 to 9, that's correct, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, so, and those are all empty lists, and then, and those are my, so, your, your goal is basically convert all those floating points into those 0 and 9 integers. Right, you need to somehow find a way to put them back. But I know I have 10 buckets. Right, so you just have to somehow put those numbers rounded back into those digits. And the way uh, we are doing it is basically n times floor of those elements. It is floor of n in those Oh, sorry, sorry, floor of that. Element of now this is basically your A I. Correct. So, so basically go from the uh, the I will be point six zero five. Right, so I basically go from the first one to the last one. So when when this is point six zero five, I have a ten times zero five equals six point zero five. And I type the floor that six six. That means this goes here. Point six zero five. So and then I move to the next one. And this one should be ten times point nine oh three. Like the floor of this should be nine. Right, so and then my this one goes here at point nine and three. At point two, this should go to number two. This will go to point five, two, one, three. This should go to five, four, nine, two, seven. This should go to four. This will go to zero. Four, nine. This should go to zero. Oh, I, I forgot to move my eye. So, there. Point zero five. Oh, I have a now. I have. I, I need to put also here point zero seven five here. And this actually uh, for the floor operation, this goes to five. But if you actually design algorithm with a plus five and take the floor, it's just going to go to yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter, you just have to keep a same, uh, same, same standby. Oops. Uh, this point five. Okay. This will be point five nine zero. So I have two two number here, two number here, also two number here. This one three. Point three. This way should go to A. A seven five. I. Now I have ten number. I put into ten bucket. On average, each bucket should have one. But some are zero, some are two. But in any case, those bucket shouldn't be very large. It's really one of n on average. Uh, really, just one, right? So if I apply sorting to those uh, small bucket, that doesn't take too much complexity running time, right? So I, the book actually say you the insertion sort for each bucket. It's still a very small number, right? So 
Anyhow, so after you solving all those, uh, solving out all those lists, and then all I need to do is just walk the whole thing over. Uh, I need to take a different color. All you need to just concatenate. Uh, why I say concatenate? Concatenate, you, you know what this means? Join. 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 Yeah, basically it's stitching everything back. Uh, if, if you have a... Uh, I'm not sure every one of you have played beads, but I have a girl. So I <laughs> play beads quite... You basically chain everything back together, <laughs> right? So they basically... Uh, from the first one, I go over there, and then go over here, go over here. Oh, uh, this one, assuming it's a solid, I go over here, go over here, and go over here. That's basically concatenation. You put everything back in one array. That's your solid uh, list. Sorry, solid array. So you, I mean, if, if I give you a tricky question, I probably say something like, well, turn this one to one to n. Uh, how it, you have to change your algorithm a little bit, right? So, uh, in fact, uh, I'm not sure what kind of question you, you come up with. I'll uh, probably change, make some subtle change of those assumptions the book has been using for the algorithm. But once you change some of the assumptions, you have to make some change to the algorithm in the book. So, uh, Okay, so.